Another aspect of the yogic tradition when we look at the yogic tradition from the positive psychology angle are positive institutions. Family and education institutions are the two examples which we are going to discuss in this section. Family is not only a biological unit in the yogic tradition, it has the role of psychosocial development and that is conducted through sanskars, we just looked at that. Family has a role for societal sustenance, that is why it is considered grahastha ashram remaining at home, ashram which is about remaining at home, established at home, sthit, grahastha is graha, sthit, established at home, anchored at home. So, grahastha ashram has the responsibility for the societal sustenance because all three ashrams whether brahmacharya, vanaprast and sannyas, they take resources from the grahastha ashram. Family is considered as a spiritual pursuit as well because human life is considered to have five rinas or debts, debts of rishis because they provide all the knowledge that includes language which we are using that of the higher natural powers because they govern the water, fire, sunlight, so on and so forth. That of the uh, parents and forefathers because they built the family and they nurtured us. That of all the natural elements animate and inanimate. So, that is called Bhutarin and Manushyarin because we are part of the community and we cannot sustain our life without other human beings. So, human life is considered to be having the rinas or debts of all these five types. The five yajnas or panch mahayajnas we just looked at in the previous slide are the ways to repay the debt and family is considered as a station or a mechanism through which these five rinas or debts can be repaid and that is why it is a spiritual pursuit. And since earth and calm are valid pursuit of family life, they become the source of the economic activities as well. So, they have economic purpose as well. So, family is not just a biological unit, but it has a socio psychological, emotional and spiritual aspects to it. Education institution are another type of institutions which can be looked at from the positive lens in the yogic tradition. How much education is considered important and that conveys how important are educational institutions that is reflected in this shloka of Manusmriti that says Vittam Bandhurvaya Karma Vidya Bhavati Panchami Etani Manyasthanani Gariyo Yad Yad Dutaram Wealth Family means blood relations Age that is Vaya Karma that is action and vidya that is learning and education being the fifth are the manyasthanani award of respect with increasing weightage respectively increasing weightage is given from wealth family age action and knowledge knowledge and learning is considered to be the place of highest respect. Perhaps as a result of that, all the villages of India used to have patshalas where 
some member of the community used to take the responsibility of teaching the kids in the family and village used to take care of that person who would uh, hold this responsibility. In the very famous book called A Beautiful Tree, author uh, Dharmpal ji quote Mahatma Gandhi in the very beginning of the book. This quote of Mahatma Gandhi is taken from the from his address in the round table conference. In this quote, Mahatma Gandhi explained that according to the British survey itself, the British is conducted survey between 1815 to 1837 in all the four presidencies in which whole of India was divided and the British survey suggested that on an average 95.9 percent people in India were literate. This was possible because uh, all the villages had partshalas, means it is kind of a home schooling where the member of the community take the responsibility of teaching all the kids in the community. So, there was a uh, well oiled um, machinery working in the Indian society. With the advent of the British empire, they brought the formal schooling concept and because of that, they made all other schools which did not have the prescribed format as prescribed in the British system, all other educational setting were considered illegal or invalid. And because of that, the whole Patshala system of the Indian society were disrupted and the analogy to this Patshala system is a huge banyan tree and this analogy was given by Mahatma Gandhi and this was quoted in the book by Dharmapal ji and from this quote itself the title of the book emerges A Beautiful Tree. So, we can see that how Indian society valued and how the yogic tradition valued knowledge and learning and how well the institutional system was prevailing to hold this knowledge and to perpetuate this knowledge. In another uh, Yagyavallak Smriti, it is said that gratefulness, free from enmity, intelligence, purity, free of mental and physical disease, not in the habit of fault finding, virtuous, strong and capable, family members, giver of knowledge and giver of wealth, these are the characteristics of a learner. Kritagya droho medhavi shuchi kalyan shuyaka adhyapya dharmatah sadhu shaktapt gyan vittada. That is the characteristic of a member of the society and objective of education is to make person with these qualities. So, we can look at positive institutions in the form of family and education institution is so very well conceptualized and implemented in the yogic tradition. 